Texas Tech hired a new football coach. And it wasn't Sonny Dykes, and it wasn't Jeff Trailer, and it wasn't any of those names. They hired Joey McGuire, who is Baylor's associate head coach, has been for the last five years. And look, Joey uh, was a longtime successful high school coach at Cedar Hill High School, won, won several state championships, et cetera. And Chris, what I have taken away from this, first off, grading coaching hires is ridiculous. Like, it's, it doesn't work anymore. Anybody that is still doing it is just doing it for clicks. The bottom line is this. We don't know if this is going to work or not, but what we do know is they liked Jeff Trailer and they liked what he brought to the table, a relationship with high school coaches across the state in, in recruiting. And no, this isn't going to switch any four or five stars that were planning on going to Texas or Oklahoma or Alabama or Ohio State. They're not going to all of a sudden switch and head over to Texas Tech uh, because it, Lubbock just – Ain't the place to go if you're a four- or five-star kid. But the truth is, those tweeners, the guys that are coming up, the rising kids that are two-stars and three-stars that can be developed into big-time prospects, those start looking at Texas Tech because they've got a good relationship, or at least the high school coaches do, with this guy, with Joey McGuire, and you can start getting more talent that way, much the same way that UTSA is doing right now under Jeff Trailer. I think it's a fantastic hire. It's absolutely worth a shot. If you did something before, you've always gone offense, offense, offense. Why not try something a little bit different? See what happens. What uh, What are your thoughts on it, Chris? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't hate this idea either. I also think having a good relationship with the coaches like that around the state doesn't just help you with recruiting initially. I think it's going to have an unbelievable effect on transfer portal recruiting because very few of these kids have a bad relationship with their high school coach. And I promise you, if you're disgruntled at your school that you're at currently and you're thinking about transferring, one of the people that you're probably going to reach out to is your high school football coach for advice. And having a relationship with those people could, I think, have a big, big play in the transfer portal, which is where Texas Tech is going to get their four-star athletes. I tend to agree. That's a that's a fantastic viewpoint on it. This thing helps. You know, it, he has not had experience at the high major level. He has had experience uh, as an assistant at Baylor. He was the associate head coach uh, under Matt Rule. He has he was kept on staff with Dave Aranda. There's a reason for that, and they have had success at Baylor building that program so, up. They expect the same thing at Texas Tech. I think the one thing that's going to be a big deal is at some point in time he's going to have to coach. At yes. some point in time, he's going to have to draw up some X's and O's, or he's going to have to hire some people to do those things. And that's going to have a big effect on this as well. We need to know the coordinators because we don't know, is this an offensive guy, is this a defensive guy? And, and, and yes, he's probably coached one side of the ball or the other quite a bit, but he's not. he's never been the play caller for that thing. Very interesting viewpoint on this, by the way. He left Baylor staff in the middle of the season – and went ahead and took the job at Texas Tech. Baylor still has to play Texas Tech, so a little, little bit of a, an interesting thing. Now, obviously, he is not, you know, he he's not going to be the head coach right now. Obviously, that coaching staff is intact except for Matt Wells. I'm, uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what is what is going on. So I, I, I love this. I like the hire. We'll see. We'll see what Texas Tech ends up being with Joey McGuire. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.